Cooling has come a long way from clay pots in ancient Egypt to the buzzing air conditioners in modern skyscrapers. But in a world facing rapid climate change, our century-old cooling systems are in desperate need of innovation. That's where a team of scientists from Slovenia is breaking new ground. At the University of Ljubljana, assistant professor Dr. Jaka Tušek and his research team are developing a revolutionary cooling technology. It's not just an upgrade, it's a complete rethink. And the best part is that it uses no toxic gases, no compressors, and no fluids at all. This emerging solution is called elastocaloric cooling. It's a type of solid-state cooling that uses special materials like nickel-titanium alloy, also known as nitinol. When these metals are stressed, literally stretched or squeezed, they heat up. When the stress is released, they cool down. This heat exchange cycle can power cooling systems with zero greenhouse gas emissions. Traditional air conditioning systems, which use vapor compression technology, have been around since the 1800s. They rely on chemical refrigerants that change from liquid to gas to absorb and release heat. But here's the problem. These refrigerants, especially HFCs or hydrofluorocarbons, are potent greenhouse gases. Some are thousands of times more damaging to the climate than carbon dioxide. Even natural refrigerants like ammonia or isobutane come with their own dangers. They are flammable, toxic or inefficient in hotter climates. This is why the European Union has been pushing for sustainable alternatives through its Green Deal and heating and cooling strategy. That's where the supercool and eco-heat projects come in. Since 2019, Dr. Tushek and his team have been actively researching and perfecting elastocaloric cooling technology in the lab. Their work is set to continue through 2026, pushing the boundaries of what clean cooling can achieve. Today, they've created a working prototype and are collaborating with partners across Europe, including Ireland's Exergen and universities in Germany and Italy under a joint effort called SemaCool. So how does this compare to its competitors? Thermoelectric coolers are safe but inefficient. Magnetic cooling is promising but still too complex and expensive. Vapor compression is dominant but its environmental cost is just too high. Elastocaloric cooling sits right in the sweet spot, solid, safe, efficient and still improving. Right now, the Slovenian prototype is operating at about 15% of its maximum efficiency. That's already within reach of traditional cooling systems which work between 20 to 30%. And remember, this tech has only been in development for less than a decade. The team is confident there's room to grow and fast. What makes this truly revolutionary is its zero refrigerant system. No toxic gases leaking into the atmosphere, no noisy compressors, just smart materials and mechanical energy doing the job. It's safe, silent and sustainable. And materials like nitinol are already trusted in medical implants, which means they are biocompatible and durable. This matters so much because cooling is a hidden giant in our global energy consumption. The International Energy Agency reports that cooling alone accounts for 10% of global electricity demand, with over 2 billion AC units in use and that number expected to triple by 2050, we're on a collision course with an environmental crisis. That's why this Slovenian innovation could change everything. By 2026, this tech might be market ready, a new class of air conditioners that are quieter, cleaner and climate friendly. From ancient evaporative methods to solid state science, the cooling industry is coming full circle, back to simplicity, but now with cutting edge engineering. The future of cooling might just be stress relief in the most literal mechanical sense. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Let's spread the word about sustainable science and the innovators shaping tomorrow.